the honest reviews. Today I am doing an early morning unboxing of the uh, Turin DF83V. Um, I will, by the way, very soon be posting some interesting uh, content from the uh, Espresso, or I should say the Specialty Coffee Expo SCA. Um, but I got this in and I wanted to unbox it and start using it. So we're going to do that before that goes live. Um, right now I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to pull a shot of the uh, decaf eye of, the, uh, eye of the Tiger Espresso. So let's go ahead and give this uh, a shot. As always, special thanks to the Espresso Outlet for sending this out to me. Dylan, I actually got to see Dylan uh, from Dylan's Home Espresso Bar at the um, event. We also got to see Hoon. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see some of the photos we took. It was a good time. All right, so we have a little booklet here. All right, I'm gonna put this upside down. Okay, sorry you can't see that, but it's gonna be a lot diff more difficult to do it without it. Okay, so let's see here. We still need a knife. Let's cut this up here. All right. Boom. This is gonna pop out. And yeah. All right, I think we got it. Okay, let me put this here. As always, if you have any questions in the comments, go ahead and leave them. I'll try to respond live here. I'll take a look at my laptop as we go. Also, if you haven't already liked the video or subscribed to the channel, definitely do that. It helps me out a ton. Wow, this is, they're going next level on these grinders here. This is getting serious. I do like this like cylindrical design where it kind of goes back. I'm surprised it's not faced up, like the angle is down. I don't know if you can kind of tell that, but so the angle is like slightly cocked down here. I'm surprised it's not like slightly cocked up to get the grinds to go down and out, but I'm sure it works. We'll see. All right, let's pull this other stuff out here. So we have the now infamous pump with the wooden top. <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing the wooden top. It's so funny to me. They're like everything's black on this machine. Just keep it black. I don't know. But very small nitpicky things as always. Nice uh, metal dosing cup. Not sure what this is. I'm assuming it's like a, oh yeah, it's the chute here. Okay. So there's a little chute there. And then we have a brush. Oh, and a little tool here. I'm assuming that's to like get into the machine and adjust things. Okay. So let's uh, plug it in. And I'm gonna attempt to pull some coffee out. First tries are normally not a good shot. I normally don't get a perfect shot after that, but just to see how it works, just to give it an attempt, you never know. You might get surprised. Okay. All right, let's pop this there. Well, now one thing I could already tell that I'm not a huge fan of already is that there isn't a place to put a portafilter. I normally like to dose directly into a portafilter. So that's a little note here. I'm gonna adjust the camera here so we can see the whole thing here. 
All right. Um, so we're at a 20. Now this is interesting too. I'm gonna grab the camera and you can kind of see, but normally on all the other DF products, you have a uh, like espresso or something labeled here. This is just a set of numbers. I'm assuming the, the closer you get in, the closer you are, the, like the finer you are. So zero is probably as fine as it goes. And then it goes, it looks like it turns all the way out here. But this is definitely a different design compared to the other ones that we've seen in the past. It looks like it actually stops at 60. And then there's a dot over here. That's probably that, that, what that tool was there for. If you want to switch out the burr sets and stuff, this whole thing probably pops off. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna dose out 16 grams. Let me see if I got this camera angle good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. All righty, so I'm gonna go for 16. Little over. Okay, looks good, right at 16. Okay. I'm gonna just turn this on too, just to make sure everything's working. Oop. Okay, so it looks like you plop it on. There we go. Very quiet. I can barely even hear that it's on here. Look at the microphone in here. Super quiet. Now, obviously when we start putting coffee grinds in there, it's gonna be louder, but let me uh, go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Still using my napkins from a long time ago, we got the hey boo from uh, October. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Well, we got some comments down here. Oh, Dylan, hey. I didn't even realize you were in here. Uh, says, good morning. That would be to adjust your zero point. Oh, the arrow, okay, great. Uh, and then to remove your burrs, you would just need to unscrew the main dial. Okay, so that's cool, easy enough. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and Pop these in. Equator Coffee makes some pretty good stuff. I, I have never really been disappointed. So let's see, whoop, had a little overflow there. Let's see if we can get the couple of beans we lost. I think that's everything. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna put, kind of pop in here you can kind of put a pour filter in there. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do that and I'm gonna see how that works because that's generally how I like to do this. So let's go ahead and do that. And then. Wow. Wow. That was the quietest grinder I've ever used in my life. It didn't even make noise. It was, that was insane. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and puff. There's really nothing to puff out of there. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna pop this back and let's take a look at how much we get out on this. I had this set at like 21, or like right in between 20 and 21. So let me tar this all in. I'm not gonna WDT like I normally do when I'm testing grinders. I have the tool, everybody. I'm just not using it for test purposes. Tell you what, it came out super fluffy like every other DF uh, grinder. I've really liked all of them. Uh, the grind quality has always been really, really good. All right, so I'm going to do a little distribution and tamp. All 
I am gonna put my puck saver up there. While we were at Weber, the, uh, the Weber folks actually gave us a free puck saver, which was pretty cool at, the, uh, at their booth. But um, they have some crazy grinders as well, as you may know. All right, so we're going to two bars, slowing it down. We got some drippage. Flow's not bad here. We're at 20, yeah, this is gonna be pretty good, I think. We're at 28 grams. 36, okay, so we hit 38. That is like the exact ratio you're looking for. So that's 27 seconds. It's actually a pretty good first shot. So let's, uh, let's give it a taste. And this is a rare occasion where the first shot comes out so well. Let me give it a little love. Oh, there we go. All right. First test. Smells great. I did decaf, by the way, because I already had a shot of espresso like 10 minutes before I did this. So, yeah, this is pretty good. This is really good stuff. I can tell that... Um, I could tell that this coffee is starting to get a little old. It's, a f it's probably like three weeks old now, but. It's still pretty good. Yeah. It's getting some of those cereal grains, chocolatey, all the th things I'm used to on this coffee. Yeah, really delicious stuff. Well, hey, uh, if there's no other comments, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, we got one. We got uh, Witcher Works. Are these easy to clean? Um, I mean, it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to clean. Everything pops off pretty simply. You have two screws here. Um, this this uh, dosing um, piece comes off pretty easy. Uh, and then to just get into the machine, as Dylan mentioned earlier, you just keep unscrewing it. You pop it off so i'd imagine it's pretty clean i will take a look at that on the full review but so far i'm really impressed i mean the the most notable thing on this so far was the speed was incredible like the other df83 um but not only that this thing was quiet i have never seen a grinder this quiet in my life i mean like almost silent so anyways Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Uh, thanks, Witcher. Uh, Witcher Works says thanks for the for the videos. I uh, you're welcome. I'm gonna have hopefully I could post um, one of the videos maybe today on the uh, SCA. We had such a good time, Dylan. Dylan and I got to party at the La Marzacco <laughs> party. That was a good time. Anyways, and if you want to see pictures and stuff like that, uh, follow my Instagram. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya. Thanks.